What is up, hashtag free pack? It is me, Dwago or Diabone Gamer and Rojo Pink, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Tonight we're doing some CS:GO arms race gameplay in the background. But if you read the title, tonight is going to be a basically another rant to the rant series that I'm doing or whatever, or just a random ass video of me just talking about something, whether it's a rant, maybe I just explain something and all that. However. If I sound a little bit pissed or annoyed or maybe a little bit strange, for one, I'm, I'm on my medication, and at the same time, I am a, a kind of annoyed or pissed off, and there's a reason to why I'm doing this video, as if you actually read the title, so let's just get right into it. So a lot of you are aware, I have my very own Discord server, right? I am very active and really do love my Discord server and I actually care for it. I like to meet new people, I like to chat to people, play games and stuff like that. You know, you, the hashtag free pack, the people that literally basically always keep sharing the videos, always keep having pals and all that, freaking telling them to subscribe, trying to help boost the channel. Maybe you actually support the channel by donations or something. You know, some of you actually get to be in the videos because you actually, like, ask me to play with you and I actually do get to play with you because maybe you actually are on the same platform or you actually invited me to a game or you were online at the time that I was and I got to invite you. And it's really great. So far it seems like, oh, this ain't no rants or anything. Well, now let's get into the bad part of this, of why this is kind of a rant. The things that I fucking hate so much on my Discord server. Things that always literally piss me off so much are always people that end up sh getting inside the server, they leave and then they rejoin, leave and rejoin. That's seriously annoying. Make up your damn mind if you're gonna stay in or if you're gonna leave, right? Another thing that I also hate is when there's haters, they'll join in, right? Or they'll probably copy paste the only link, because there's only one link, even invites are disabled, to prevent raiders from just being able to easily share it to their friends or group servers that's meant for raiding. So what is it? That's another thing that pisses me off, is I have bots and I have some um, a freaking close admins or close pals that are admins that, you know, sometimes kick or ban those people that try to ruin others' day by being a freaking internet troll. And it's a really annoying. However, that's not the main problem. One of the biggest problems that I really freaking hate is when I try to grow my own channel, I try to grow my own server for Discord with, through my channel or through my own social media, and then you get a whole bunch of people joining your server and just self-promoting their server just because you already have people in yours, they think, oh hey, I'm gonna promo in this guy's server because why the fuck not, and then I'm gonna be inactive on his server and only be active on my own. Alright, great, so now you're just going to be a self-promoter. Another thing that I hate is those people that just join in, and even if not, because they're going to uh, promote their own server and all that, there's a lot of people that join in and they don't ever talk anymore. I mean, I get you're probably talking in another server or something, maybe you're talking to some friends and DMs or whatnot, but there's some people where they, they would chat like once a month, once every two months, there'll be people that don't chat for like once a year or something. And when they do, they tend to just make, they, they tend to just promote a link, or they tend to just go ahead and just say something that just makes everything so freaking awkward, and then out of nowhere, leave and lurk, and just stalk the chat. Like, they'll literally just stalk the chat, and then th that's really it. Then they'll just continue to do that, and then, yeah. It, it gets kind of annoying. I would figure if you're gonna join the server, it's maybe because you actually want to try to chat and make friends and all that. I mean, yeah, sure, you could be in other servers. I don't care about that. But I mean, if you're gonna be a dick and just constantly be promoting them, especially in my rules, that's another thing that pisses me off. So many people join in and don't even read the rules. I mean, they're literally common sense. The rules, I'm not even gonna bother to read them out loud in this video, because if you choose to join this server after, you know, watching this video or something, you literally get a DM from the Mr. Misi uh, spots, you know, the Me6 bot that I have. It will literally DM you telling you, you know, welcome to the server and then to check out the hashtag welcome rules. And after reading the rules, I do have some of my links to ways to support me if you want to do that. But the main part of the welcome thing is because it has the rules in it. And a lot of people decide to just, oh, fuck it, I'm just going to skip it because, you know, I I'm fucking savage. I'm cool. I don't need rules. It's like, fuck that shit. They're literally just common sense rules, basically respecting other people. Not everybody is part of the furry fandom. 
you know some people are sensitive some people aren't maybe if, if, if you're like having a harsh time maybe you're sad maybe you're feeling a little bit depressed you know you could ask for some help maybe right in the service saying hey can someone help me I feel a little bit down but we don't want you just full out spreading private info or telling your reasons why you're sad publicly in the chat and ruin everybody's day. I mean, some people are trying to have a nice, some people are having a nice day, and if you just say something like, oh, hey, I'm depressed, I want to kill myself, what is it? That's going to make everybody that sees that message feel really sad, all right, and feel really bad about their own day because they're going to be scared and worried for your day, and there's some people out there where, I mean, Okay, I understand that's the way that you you would end up messaging people for a sign of help But I I mean if you're gonna type in the word suicidal or something or if you're gonna type in that you're gonna kill yourself I'm pretty sure you could just as easily type instead of typing that I'm pretty sure you could easily be capable of just typing Hey, can you help me want to chat in DMs or something because I myself even some of the admins that I have on my server or even some other friendly people in the server will gladly help you, will gladly talk to you by voice, text, you know, we'll, we'll help you out with your issues. But at the same time, if you're gonna get help, take the damn help and don't just deny the people after getting help. There's so many people that literally manipulate others saying they need help for something, then they're, they're okay after getting the help and then the next day, they're repeating it. They're literally just denying everything and repeating themselves and it gets really annoying and it happens every day. Another thing is when people um, uh, like, you know, want to post pictures and all that, if you're a person that's into memes, alright, that's kind of cool. I mean, you could be into memes and share some of your memes and all that, but if they're like off the charts, like dark, really offensive, or if you think it's going to trigger some people, don't post it. Not everybody is really open to everything. There's people that are, everybody is different. Everybody can be insensitive or sensitive. Maybe people are neutral. So I mean, you gotta honestly be careful of what the hell you're doing and what you say in chat and all that. So I mean, another thing that I really hate is when someone talk and when people talk about specific topics. For example, let's say politics as an example. This shit will cause arguments and cause a whole lot of fights in the server. I want that out. I don't want any of that in because it was bringing neg negativity. I, I, I want to have the server peaceful for everybody and something that could be maintained and well moderated to where everybody could just, you know, be peaceful, ha ha make new friends, play games together and all that, or just have some, you know, like, not off the charts, crazy, uncomfortable feeling RPs. You know, share some nice artwork instead, or share some cool images, and right? I don't just want to have my sh server get shit posted by a whole lot of random shit, people spamming, people annoying each other, people causing rants, fights, I don't want drama, or just hella negativity or depression really, the shit's getting spammed into my server. And then there's also people that try to say, Oh, how come the server's getting cleared of all my messages? How come you're deleting this shit? How come you're kicking me? How come you're banning me? If if an admin or I myself or even other people in the server ask you nicely to just stop on a certain subject because maybe it's going too far, you know? Maybe, maybe it's just going too far where people can't handle talking about the certain subject. Don't keep it up. Don't say, can I have a reason why you're deleting my shit? Don't keep that shit up. You're literally not, uh, refusing to stop and trying to f defend yourself to continue the damn subject. Don't be that type of asshole and ruin yourself. Some people literally get triggered and butter and just leave. And sometimes they come back a few days later, a few hours later, minutes later, whatnot. Sometimes they don't. And it's really annoying. Don't be an asshole. Like, have some common sense. I mean, sometimes I wish I didn't even have a Discord server, and I just decided to add my user or tag, you know, literally in the description to where instead of, if you wanted to actually contact me, you just add me instead as a friend, and then we could talk in DMs, and if I found you really chill, and thought, hey, you know, you're someone I probably would talk to on a daily basis, then I probably would have just added you to a private server, but I want to be open to everybody, and I don't want to be like those poppy furs out there, or popular people, if you're not part of the free crown or something and and i don't and that thinks hey money and freaking fame is all cool and shit i literally give no fucks about money and fame whatsoever what i care about is actually being able to make some new friends 
and being able to play games and chat with new people all the time. I actually like to go ahead and chat with the people that literally support my channel and boost my channel, which is you, the hashtag free pack. You know, the people that literally watch and watching this video right now, the people that watch all my other videos, people that are in my streams and all that. I want to be, you know, having a great time actually being active with you guys way more than just replying to your comments you know or trying to go ahead and reply to you on twitter and all that discord is one of the easiest ways where i could be active to everybody it is free you don't even need the app anybody could get it as long as you have a web browser you're good to go as long as you have an internet connection and a web browser you could join in right away for free and, and you, there we go we could just have fun chatting in voice or in text chat and all that we could share freaking images and all that kind of stuff and it's cool however there's a whole lot of people that like to ruin other people's good vibes and good times and it's so annoying i mean if you're a person that's going to join the server after watching this video or if you're a new person to the channel or something and you want to join the server you want to make some friends want to be peaceful and all that please do me the favor and actually read the damn rules of the server like actually read them i mean yeah sure they're not fully detailed they're not it's like the most super well explained because they're literally just basic common sense rules i mean i don't think i have to like fully type out an essay on like every single thing of what you can or cannot do as long as you have a you know a co common sense you should be fine i mean and some people may go like oh if you can't say inappropriate t stuff you can't like you know be mean to others or something or whatnot or maybe you say no don't say inappropriate content or whatever some people will probably go like hey it's cursing a lot and all that yeah well, sure you could curse if you wanted to i mean if, if you're into cursing or whatever just don't be disrespectful to people if you're gonna do it i mean if, if there's a friend in the server for example let's uh, let's say i picked one of my friends right uh i'm not gonna actually pick a natural friend i'm just gonna make up a name let's say i had a friend named timmy and i just went ahead and just said hey timmy fuck you right well, if he's my friend and me and my friend mess around like that, it will be alright. But if, if Timmy wasn't my friend and he was a really sensitive person, obviously I'm not going to say that because, I mean, I'll probably know that I, I, I probably will have a common sense not to say that. I mean, maybe you just want to make a joke saying to, so, uh, saying to someone, I bet you're a bitch, not JK. I mean, yeah, you can make jokes like that and stuff like that, but you got to be aware of who you say it to because not everybody's going to be, you know, open to that kind of stuff. So, I mean, again, just literally have common damn sense. That's that's really it. I mean, it's not that hard to follow that. Like, what I've really been hating so far on my Discord server that's been pissed me off the most is there's always been, almost every single day, a freaking depression-related issue. Whether someone wants to freaking kill themselves or give up on life or something. Or people just want to keep talking about how bad and negative their life is and how ungrateful they are. Don't be that kind of asshole to put bad vibes in the server. There's a lot of people that actually talk to these guys that say stuff like this. And they literally get help. They literally get a whole lot of help from me and a whole lot of others. I have lots of proof within the server. Like actual legitimate screenshot proof. If anybody ever wanted to see that kind of stuff. And there's some people that literally like to just manipulate you for uh, uh, when they're getting the help. And then there's some people that like to just constantly keep it up almost every single day or every other day, right? And it gets really annoying. Don't be that type of person. So, I mean, if you really just want help, in general, just ask for it. And and don't be a dick about it if you're going to get it. And I it would be preferred to just do it in DMs instead of being in a public chat as well, too. Because, I mean, some people probably don't want to be involved into your issues. I mean, those are personal issues. Some people don't want to be involved in other issues. Because you got to think about everybody has their own separate life to worry about. Everybody has their own issues to worry about. So, I mean... Yeah, have some common sense, please. I mean, this whole video is literally just me saying have common sense because a lot of people lack that. There's so many people that literally lack that and need it. It's really annoying. I mean, it upsets me so much times because, like, this, this doesn't even happen on, like, other servers. I see so many other servers from, like, other popular YouTubers out there. And it doesn't even happen on the server. I find there's a whole lot of bullshit that it happens on mine. And one of the re reasons why even it happens on mine is because people actually realize that I'm not one of those asshole scumbag dicks like other popular people that are into fame and money. I actually care about my fan base. I actually care about my friends and care about my server. 
I I literally love all the stuff that I do. I am very grateful for everything that I have that I'm doing and everything that I own. So I mean, some people I guess just like to open up on my server for some reason once they notice that there's a whole lot of friendly people in it. Or maybe because they think I'm friendly or cool, and they just randomly tend to open up. I mean, okay, that's pretty cool of you for doing that, but at the same time, please, just have some common sense too. I mean, for anybody that was in my server at all, and, you know, you enjoyed it, maybe you actually left, and you still watch my content for some reason, and maybe you don't hate me or something, but you found me annoying, but you left, you're welcome to come back. However, just please be a chill person. I mean, I know myself, I could be kind of hypocritical in this video because, yes, I had done some shit like this on my own server too. However, I did clear the chat, and at the same time, I did fix my own issues, like minutes after. And I literally stopped it, and we switched subjects to something normal. So, I mean, that's literally this whole entire video, is just talking about how I just want to have my server, you know, Will Monray. Another thing that I should probably talk about in this video is people asking to be an admin or a moderator. I only make people admin or a moderator or whatnot that are either family members of mine, really close friends that I've been knowing for years, months, or people that I just opened up to and could trust. Those are only people that I had ever made admins or moderators. The majority of these people that are already admins or moderators are actually people that I have been knowing for a long ass time. So whenever people ask, hey, can I be a mod or something and all that? The answer is literally gonna be obvious and be a no because like I only literally I, um, if, if you notice all the people that are moderators or admins are literally the people that are featured on my channel because those are the people that are family members or really close friends of mine that I've been knowing for a long time. Some of them know me in a personal way, so it kind of makes sense, you know. Not and not all of them are actually gonna be that active on my server as well too, and not all of them are gonna are actually in the furry fandom. So that's another thing, you know, so, and they all have their own things to do. So, I mean, if we ever get, have server raids, anybody just freaking, and what is it, disrespecting someone or not obeying the actual server rules and they don't get kicked or banned right away, some of them are busy. Maybe some of them just are, are only, I mean, some of them don't even really do the, anything to be an admin or a moderator, but yet they still hold that role and still hold that position just because, I mean, they're my trusted or pal or family member. And, I mean, I wanted them to actually have it so they could feel special. And it doesn't mean just because you don't have that role, you're not special on my server. Anybody that joins in to the server gets a role, and it's called the hashtag furry pack, which is literally what I call everybody that is a fan or a subscriber of the channel. Or anybody that's just a chill person that I feel could not violate these server rules because when you do join a server you actually join with no role whatsoever and you're under heavy moderation through the server itself by default discord settings that i have set up and then also the bots but once you actually get the free pack role you have access to a whole lot of other chats and you have a little bit less moderation because then you're a little then you're actually more special and actually trusted to be able to send images and the images chat you know be able to chat in all the other chats and there you go. I mean, yeah, and I do actually add everybody as a friend who sends me a friend request on Discord and actually reply to DMs and I'm always active, like, literally 24-7. However, I just wish people didn't, like, ruin my Discord server all the time. So that's basically the whole entire video is me just talking about how my Discord servers are, I've been experiencing stuff and all that. I mean, there's times where I literally felt like closing out the server and just deleting it the whole entire thing. Another thing is, on a server, if you were to join, there is 160 people on my server at the moment. However, not all those 160 people are active anymore. There's hardly like 20 people that are active, right? I mean, there'll be like 30 people online and 20 of those people will be active. Sometimes there's only like 5 people or 10 people active. And I don't even care if a low amount of people are active. Some of those low amount of people that are active are really cool people. And they're active like almost every single day. And for all those that are watching this video, and you know that you're an active person well congratulations you guys are freaking cool and i love you all because you guys are really great friends and you guys are freaking awesome for always giving me someone to chat to you know like for example after i finish a live stream or after i upload a video or maybe before i stream or upload a video they're literally the first people to know 
what a video is going to be about or if I'm going to live stream or whatnot or they get to know a little bit extra cool stuff you know everybody knows that my twitter is kind of dying or, or slower out there or whatnot and I sometimes I tweet here and there majority of the time I'm usually tweeting out my videos when I add them to playlists or upload them or when I'm about to stream sometimes I actually tweet out some actual like art and stuff like that but majority of the time I want Discord chatting to people, like actually having full on conversations, talking about cool stuff, or lame stuff, or whatnot, we're just chatting, having fun, whether it's voice or text. So, I mean, there you go. But yeah, that's literally this whole entire video. This video is already basically going to be 21 minutes, I'm probably going to make it 22 minutes and just end it after it reaches 22, so... Yeah, I'm just going to continue talking about a few things. I'm probably repeating myself a couple times, and I'm sorry about that, but again... I am kind of annoyed on how my Discord server has been acting up. My Discord server has never been like this since the beginning. In the beginning, it used to be even more active than what, it was, than what it is till this day. Until the future days of me actually having a server. It used to have a lot more people being active and all that. And I don't know where people just started, you know, I guess losing interest or activity. Sometimes people come back and chat and all that. But, you know, I appreciate anybody who can support the channel. You know, subscribe if they're brand new. I will appreciate anybody who actually leaves a share to the channel. If you do want to join in the Discord server, I really would appreciate that. I would like to be your friend. I would like to play games with you. Have great conversations with you. Just try to go ahead and, you know, take it easy, you know. I mean, if you have any issues, ask for help in the server. And either I or other people can literally just DM you. We can make a group DM and just help you out there. So your entire, you know, personal story or whatever you want to talk about doesn't get leaked publicly and it doesn't ruin everybody's bad vibe for those people that don't want to be involved, you know. Because you got to keep aware, it is public, obviously, and some things are just meant to be private, you know. So, you know, you, you just got to have the common sense. So the video is already in the 22 minutes, so I'm just going to end the video here. Thank you for those people that actually took time to watch the video from start to finish and actually support the channel. I guess I was a little bit hypocritical because it's probably going to be 23 minutes now. But anyways, thank you again for all those people that actually took the time to understand this video. You know, if you're actually still supporting me till this day, you know, you guys are freaking amazing. Leave me some comments down below what you think about this situation, what you think about this rant or video. You know, give me some feedback. You know, please do leave a like if you want to. And, you know, subscribe if you're brand new, leave a share to the channel, and, again, for any people that used to be in a server or want to join in a server, you know, just do take this video into consideration and think twice, and, you know, about having some common sense, and for anybody that has been in the server before and still watch the channel, but they are no longer in the server, I'm sorry if you had a bad experience, and if you want to make that experience again and good again, go ahead and join and give it another chance, but yeah, anyways, dogs out. This video is literally just past 23 minutes. God damn it, I swear. I'm sorry, guys. I should literally just stop saying how long I'm going to take on videos. But anyways, again, dogs out. Bark, bark. Bow wow. I love you all. Hashtag furry pack. Peace.